And welcome back. Now, today I want to look at a program called Nightkey. Now, you're looking at it and probably thinking, ah, oh, it's a prediction software, which it is. But it's a little bit different in a number of ways. One, you can personalize it with personal categories, depending on what you're doing in your workplace studies or your personal life. So you can create categories and it can predict not just words, but phrases as well with a tap of a button. So it helps keep your workflow going. It's very good if you struggle with full process as well. Without further ado, let's get stuck in and show you. And I'll leave a link for the demo version. You can have a look at yourself if you like it. When you actually install it, bottom right hand corner, it sits in a little taskbar here. You can right click that little taskbar actually and select open control center, which I've done in the middle. Pause it if you wish as well, and you can activate it there and open up your preferences if you wish. When it's open, go to accessibility settings first. I won't go through every detail, just a quick overview. The first two options here. One says optimize prediction experience for people with, de with dexterity or physical typing difficulties. And the second one is optimize prediction experience with dyslexia or other learning difficulties. So you can see the first one is more physical and the second one is more mental. So you need to choose which one fits your criteria there. Maybe it's both or neither. It's up to you to choose. And at the bottom here, you can choose what color you like. You might want a bright background or bright text. It's up to you to play around with those themes. And at the bottom, I've currently got this turned off. What it does is, as you're typing, it can predict words or phrases. And instead of you looking at the phrases or words, it will speak them back for you. So that way, you can just click the tab button on your shortcut key to enter the phrase or word in and carry on. So if you work better that way, you can either use the verbal or the visual that comes up anyway to show you what word is going to predict or phrase. So I want to close that. That's your dashboard. Now, not these options you can see there, there's not a lot going on because I've not used it yet. But at the top here, you can see that I've used Outlook and Word a little bit. Main two programs I'll use. And underneath here, you can see the keystrokes saved, words corrected, and words per minute. Top right hand corner, important bit. I've got text predictions on because I want to be able to predict as I type. I want real time corrections as I'm doing it. You can have a sound assistant to help you with that if you wish. And there's no statistics company bottom right. Second option productivity metrics. That's a good way to check how you're doing with your workflow, how much time you're saving, how's your prediction working for you. You've got applications here, so you can choose which specific applications. I put Microsoft Word, but there's nothing in there at the moment, as you can see, because I've got no data, but you can find out precisely what your productivity is and your personal metrics for the last three months or even the last month. Check your language, and you can even export that. So you've got your metrics, and maybe you want to go back to that at a later date and see how you've improved. Next is prediction profile, really important as well. Choose your language here. You've got loads of languages underneath here to choose from. Now, categories. Now you need to choose the category that's relevant to your profession, studies, or even your personal life, whatever it is you do. So you can choose specific ones here. So we've got industries here, you might, agricultural industry, renewable energy industry. So you can tick what you need and allow them. So definitely have a look at that. You can actually create a new category here. So what you do is you can import a file or even a whole folder. Obviously, be careful what you import and folder wise. You don't want anything confidential, but you could import the whole lot into if you wish anyway. Be it a file and a whole folder and subfolders within that folder, which will be your subdirectories. Now to do that, you have to import settings and you tick what file formats you want to be able to import. And that way, when you go to create category, and click on import file, you can find a file then to add, and you can add your own categories that way as well, really personalize it for you. So when you go back to categories, you would then have it at the bottom here, custom categories to access. So that's quite personal to, that's quite personal to you to use. Top right, we've got import settings. Just wanna go back to import settings. Here's a little tick here. If you're importing folders, you probably want to import the directories as well with this and subdirectories. So if you tick that, it will then import everything it finds. Preferences. You can see it supports Office, no problem there. I've got my Word, Outlook and PowerPoint. And browsers, I use Chrome and Microsoft Edge, so they're all fine as well. 
Now come down here, there's an option here that says enable light key anywhere technology. So you can use light key anywhere. So what it does is use a shortcut key or click and you can add that application you're working with. So then light key can be used within it. If I click on take tutorial and have a quick look. So you can see already it's supported applications, but if I, and many more, it says if I hold alt and click your mouse here, so if I've got an application open, I can then add that application to like key and be able to use a prediction in it as well. So a nice little option, remember where that is as well. Also at the bottom, disable like key anywhere in select applications. So there's specific applications you do not want that prediction in. Choose it here by add new application in there and click save. Go to the top, prediction. Again, you have to use it first and then you can have a look at these settings later. I'd probably leave these default, enable text predictions, but also mathematical expressions. And again, you've got your little video there to help you. What I would come down to is here, optimize prediction experience for people with disabilities. There's another good option to use and this one here, suggest only high impact predictions. Now what this software does, as you type it, it tries to predict the next word and it learns using artificial intelligence, but it can also learn phrases and sentences as you type. So you can hear and read back to you as you're working or see them visually and then click the shortcut key to enable them in your document and it speeds up your workflow. You've got interaction now. You've got to choose what shortcut key you want to use to be able to enable the words or phrases you choose. I'm going to leave it on tab. You can tap on the ones you want. Let's tap them off because you might want more than one. And it will tell you when there's a, and it will come up with a notification to tell you when there's high impact predictions. Like here will play a subtle sound to signify that a user each time a high impact suggestion is available and displayed on the screen. That then allows you high productivity. But again, you have to play around with those settings to see if they work for you specifically because they might not. And again, these are your personal options here at space after accepted prediction. But another good option at the bottom is use control shift arrow instead of control arrow to navigate between different suggestions. So remember on the right to learn more. Go back up to notifications. These are quite good actually because you can have an achievement notification come up or feature notification or system. So I'm going to go to the last one general. So you choose depending on your system how much consumption settings. So that we process the power and RAM. But processors now are so powerful. A RAM, 16 megabytes most PCs have anyway now, which is more than adequate. But I've got balanced anyway. But you've got the choice between energy saver and high performance. You've got an option here to back up your light key data. Remember it learns as it predicts so it will get better. You can restore light key data or reset to factory settings. So there we go. There's a quick look at the light key control panel. We'll go back to dashboard. Now we're going to open up a Word document. We're going to try it on Word. So now let's try it out. So I'm going to type something and it's going to predict, try and predict. But it's going to learn and I'll show you what I mean. So let's put in So there we go, I was after psychology, so I'm going to click the tab button. And as you see as I'm typing, it's predicting. And I hit the tab button and it keeps me flowing. Now what this does is, if I click the enter key, it learns. So that way, when you put sentences and phrases, it's learning what you're putting in. So it would then start predicting them later on. So instead of doing a word, it can predict a whole phrase. And you think, oh, that's the one I want. Hit the shortcut key and it'll into your document and enable you to carry on working efficiently. So I'm going to type that in again. And again, I put P and it's come up with psychology. I'm going to hit tab, move on. And again, you can see here, so I can tab. And I think you get the idea with that and see what it's doing now. It's predicting ahead. So if I hit tab, it's moved me on. 
So that way it helps you to help with the full process in sentences. Do it quickly as I'm going to open it up. So it's important you put your input in here. If I go to prediction profile, I've got medical and health. You need to select exactly what your categories are to work with and leave it on because it learns. And remember, you can add your custom categories there to improve it even further. Now if I go to productivity metrics, you can now see, even though I've typed just a little bit on here, minutes saved, keystrokes saved, 84, words corrected for typing efficiency. So it will speed up your typing as well. My words per minute ain't great, but you can see I'm just doing a demonstration there anyway as well so it's just a quick it's just a quick look at light key just to give you an idea with it play about with it and see where it takes you let me know on my youtube channel thanks for watching